The Morning Office for March 1st. Come now and see the works of God, how wonderful He is in doing towards all people. Satisfy us by your loving kindness in the morning, so shall we rejoice and be glad all the days of our life. Save us, O Lord our God, and gather us from among the nations, that we may give thanks to your holy name and glory in your praise. Mercy and truth have met together. Righteousness and peace have kissed each other. Then Jesus said to his disciples, If anyone wants to follow me, let him renounce himself and take up his cross and follow me. Anyone who wants to save his life will lose it, but anyone who loses his life for my sake will find it. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Mercy and truth have met together. Righteousness and peace have kissed each other. Righteousness and justice are the foundations of your throne. Love and truth go before you. Happy are the people who know the festal shout. They walk, O Lord, in the light of your presence. They rejoice daily in your name. They are jubilant in your righteousness. For you are the glory of their strength, and by your favor our might is exalted. Truly, the Lord is our ruler. The Holy One of Israel is our King. Mercy and truth have met together. Righteousness and peace have kissed each other. Lord, have mercy on us. Christ, have mercy on us. Lord, have mercy on us. Our Father, who is in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us today our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For yours is the kingdom and the power and the glory, forever and ever. Amen. Most loving Father, whose will it is for us to give thanks for all things, to fear nothing but the loss of you, and to cast all our cares on you who cares for us, preserve us from faithless fears and worldly anxieties, that no cloud of this mortal life may hide me from the light of that love which is immortal and which you have manifested to us. And your Son, Jesus Christ, our Lord, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. Amen. Lord God, Almighty and Everlasting Father, you have brought me in safety to this new day. Preserve me with your mighty power, that I may not fall into sin, nor be overcome by adversity. And in all I do, direct me to the fulfilling of your purpose, through Jesus Christ, my Lord. Amen.